three, two, one. What's going on everybody? It's me, John, with Rock Branded. Today is day six of Vlog Every Day in May. Uh, it's May 6, 2019. So um, what I kind of want to get into today, my girlfriend had a really good idea that I should start like dropping little points in my vlogs and whatnot, and it'd be a good idea to kind of integrate some of my music advice and whatnot. So today's music advice I wanted to talk about is like very often I, I'm trying to encourage people Maybe because I didn't do it myself, but I'm trying to encourage people to pursue a career in music And when I say that I'm not saying that you need to uh, Get signed by a record label sell out stadiums or anything like that. I think you can Definitely do what I would call the journeyman route to being a musician and you can make a decent living doing it You know selling your music uh, Performing live in front of people getting paid for gigs all sorts of things like that however when I talk about things like this, you know, making music your career, making music your job, um, it's a little different than what most people would consider to be like your average um, job or employment. For example, let's talk about Walmart. Let's say you take a job over at Walmart, right? You fill out your application, you get hired, you get put on the cash register or whatnot. Um, you're working for a corporation that has systems in place and that has training systems and has uh, certain policies and certain expectations of you as an employee. Like obviously you can't steal, you gotta make sure that you keep the count right, you gotta make sure you're friendly with customers. And what they'll do is they'll put you with somebody who will train you in this and teach you how to do all these things. And then along the way you'll get coached by other supervisors, managers, and other employees to do your job to the best of your ability. And that's all because Walmart is this big corporation that has all these systems all the way down to like the, the, uh, the newest and most inexperienced employee. They have all these systems to teach them how to be a Walmart person, right? Unfortunately, if you're going to get into the music business and you're going to be a musician, there's no workbook. There's no employee handbook for this. There's no workbook for it. You got to figure it out yourself. You got to figure out what kind of systems you can put in place. You got to figure out what kind of policies or what kind of, um, you know, uh, what, what kind of standards you're going to hold yourself up to. So this is the thing that makes it kind of difficult. There's no real way. Uh, there's no real handbook that you, I mean, there are plenty of books out there. There's plenty of information out there on YouTube and, you know, hopefully I provide a lot of information for you guys as well um, that, uh, that you can look into. But for yourself, for your situation, for who you are, for the type of person you are, uh, it's up to you. You're the one who's got to come up with these systems. You're the one who's got to come up with the stuff that works, you know, and uh, you got to do it through trial and error. You got to do it through like A-B testing, things like that. See what works with your Instagram audience. See what works with your Facebook audience. See what works with whoever. And that's all on you. So you kind of have to have that... And I hate to say corporate mentality because I know corporations and music are just seem like, you know, like uh, like night and day, like good and evil. Uh, they seem like two completely different things. But you can learn a lot from how corporations work. Corporations have systems, like I was saying, they have policies, they have standards that they uphold. And why wouldn't you take that same knowledge that has made them successful and use it to make your own self successful? It's all, it's all relative, really. So if you've ever had a job and you've ever been trained by somebody or you've ever experienced like corporate policy and corporate training or corporate standards or anything like that, you've kind of got a leg up in so far as how you're going to make your music work. And you got to look at it from that perspective. Like you look at your band, like I said so many times, look at your band like a brand, look at your music like a product. And then from that brand, you kind of build your quote unquote empire or corporation, let's call it for now. And you start implementing certain systems, you uphold policies, you uphold standards, and then whatever works, just do that more and more. Uh, do it, uh, keep it on repeat, keep doing it over and over again until you find something that makes you successful. And that's, that's about it. So, yep, vlog every day in May. This is May 6th, day six. This is John with Rock Branded, where rock bands 
get rock solid branding. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about me. And if there's uh, any kind of questions you guys want to have or anything you want to discuss in the vlog every day in May, by all means, leave me a question below in the comments. I look forward to talking to you guys. Take care.